Hey guys and welcome to a guide and walkthrough on how to do the lightning temple in Gerudo in Tears of the Kingdom. In order to access the temple, you will need to use Riju's lightning ability. Wait for the yellow to go over the purple thing. You shoot the purple thing and that will spawn a something in. I'm not going to spoil. Yeah, go do that. And once that's done, you're going to do it again and break the next door. Immediately on the right, there is a chest stuck in this little sand pile here that you can grab out. Now, there is a weapon that you're going to need later on in this room as well. It's the one with the, the leaf, the Korok leaf on it. So you're going to have to grab one of these weapons. You need a weapon with the leaf so that you can make wind, okay? And you're immediately going to use it now, but you're going to use it again later, so... Make sure you keep onto it. Now you'll immediately use it on the sand pile here to activate the button. Once the button's activated, a pathway will reveal. You're gonna go down this pathway all the way to the end. As you get to the bridge here, just before you go over the second bridge on the left side, if you drop down, you can quickly open up the chest here and get what's in the chest. Then use a sand to go up back to the bridge and continue along the pathway you're already heading. Just like this, move these two blocks out of the way like this. There'll be a chest immediately on your left. Go ahead and loot that. Once you're done with that, leave the room, turn left immediately you'll see some fire in the distance now don't fall in that hole now keep running and wait for the fire wait for the fire and then run past just like this step on the button turns the fire off opens up the gate continue along the pathway that has been opened up before you and now you'll see on the left there is these flaming boulders now you're going to use recall as the boulder comes towards you to send it back the way that it came you're going to run along here if case it does happen again just use recall again stand on the button door opens ball stop rolling <laughs> and you just keep running like this along the pathway once you get into the section you're going to drop down immediately to the right there is a little bit of a pathway here with a spinning turbine thingy you're going to go get on it on this side here immediately use recall on it so that it goes the opposite direction so that you can jump up and grab the secret chest do be careful of the little spikes on the other side of that spinning thing when you're done you just leave the chamber go right up the stairs and continue into the door on the right here as if you would have normally progressed so this is just uh, this is a very easy part of the game here just to get to the main chamber of the lightning temple now in this room fight the enemies defeat the enemies on the one side of the room here there is some rocks with a hole in the wall go through this side over here now as you go through here there's a hidden chest on a platform that is going to sink don't worry about the sinking platform there is an item i guess you can collect at the bottom if you really want it it is a spear right behind these fire things you can use your telekinesis grabbing thing i mean ultra hand and then just ascend when you're when you're done to go back up there and go back to that main room that we just came from where you had that fight now you're gonna grab the thing out of the sand here the mirror this is called a mirror by the way this is the first time you're seeing it we're going to be using this a lot. What you're going to do is put it in the light and reflect a light beam into that button over there so that it opens up the door. Now you're going to run up this door and this will take you to the actual main floor of the Lightning Temple. You will have to do some story stuff here, listen to her speak. But when you're ready to go, right behind the button on the right over here, you'll see there's like two pots here and like these blocks that you can move. Go ahead and move these blocks immediately. This is actually where the first mechanism that you need to activate is. And the way you activate this is, is activate the ability of Riju to get the lightning wait for the yellow to cover the button shoot the button with the arrow boom nice and easy cool starting from the button again here you'll see there is a block with like wind coming underneath it move the block activate the wind the wind will now go like all the way to the top you can use this here now face the button but do it from this angle so you can easily see fly up like this now you see that red little candle light in the middle there that is where you're gonna go so that little flame light you're gonna go here fight the enemy once you fight the enemy you'll see this thing is right here you're gonna just go past this in the puzzle you're gonna move these two blocks because behind it is a light source and we need this light source to go all the way through and that means we need to use recall to position one of these things here so that they roughly create the same opening the same same gap just like this so that the light goes through like that and activates a button over here now we're gonna still keep using it however it's gonna go across still so that's gonna move out the way as you see and we're gonna use that light source again we're just gonna jump off this platform that just opened go to the stairs on the right run all the way up you'll see the light beam will catch up with you here and it will shine through in a second just like this and it will activate this thing as well now, once this is activated, you just step on the button. It moves out the way. You go into a new room here. Now, this is quite simple. Grab a block, put it sideways, block the wall like that. Nice and easy. Run through. Now, same thing, but this time you're going to grab a block and you're going to make it vertical so that it's as high as possible like this. Block it. Fight the enemies in the room that's coming up ahead here. Just defeat them nice and easily. Once you're done with that, you're going to jump down this section here. There's like a rotating room at the bottom. Now, the first thing you're going to do is, uh, well, you loosen this mirror because you're going to be doing a light puzzle. So loosen it, get it ready. And then you're also going to grab one of these sticky ends. You're going to grab it on the 
the the hard end and you're gonna stick the the sharp piece into the wall so just into the wall like this where the light source thing is like that between these two little like dragon lamps actually they look like bright bloom seed things lamps and then you're gonna use the mirror and you're gonna point the light at the the thing like this nice and simple nice and easy and that will activate the top here sending the light all the way to the top now we need to just ascend as well and go to the top don't worry about bringing in the mirror there is another one in the sand pile right behind this thing here so find the sand pile use ultra hand grab the mirror and what you're gonna do is actually place it down right in the middle here try to place it like angled so that it hits this button on the other side like that and then once it does it will activate and open up a room here that of course you know what to do wait for Riju to come in walk around if she's not and then shoot the lightning arrow to activate the mechanism nice and simple starting from the main chamber the main room again with the main button we're going to use that wind yet again but this time we're going to go a different direction so jump up here and we're going to face towards the west and on the west, you'll see there's an enemy walking around here. That's where you're going to kill him, and you're going to go through this gap in the wall. You'll see some light over here. You're going to put this vertically under the light, just like that. And then you're going to grab the mirror, and you're going to basically aim this through the exact same gap that you just came through, just like that, okay? And then you're going to run through, and you're going to move this thing out the way, like that, into the light, so that it shoots the light beam. This is a nice little light puzzle. Pull this one here, so that it aims down. It's going to activate a button pull all the way towards you, so that it activates a button down there. But don't go down there just yet. We will now now, but we're going to activate another one as well. So move this thing out of the way, so that the light goes out of the way, and move the first one out of the way too. And then proceed to the third one, that is in the very far distance. You're going to need that Korok Seed Wind Weapon again to remove the sand so that you're able to move this thing. Put it like this so that it pushes the light beam this way. And then of course, as you can imagine, we're going to push this one here all the way until it activates a button at the top. Now we're first going to go for that button at the bottom. And from this position where we are right now, all we have to do is jump down. So you jump down like this, it's going to be beneath the stairs. So beneath the stairs over here, this is actually to the northwest, by the way. Step on the button, opens up a platform, a room here. You'll see there's lights here, there's also enemies. The first thing you should do is get those two mechanisms that are floating to be stopped floating like this. And then what you're going to do after that is defeat all the enemies. Nice. Now you're going to have that mechanism here, one of them on the light, and you're going to attach a mirror to it in the middle, just like that. And then from here, to make it easier, I actually just attach these um, side pieces on the on the right, like this. So we're going to make this vertical like that. And then we're going to grab this piece and we're going to stick it like this. The, our, our objective is to get as high as we can. And then I'm going to grab it again and I'm going to attach it to the other one at the back there just so it gets as much distance as it can. You'll see here so that it's like really long. And now if you hold it by the bottom piece, this piece that I'm holding right now, you'll be able to raise it much higher. So what we're going to do is activate that activate that so that they kind of like stay stable in the air this does use your battery so be as quick as you can from this point raise it as high as it goes and then raise this one as high as it goes as well and then underneath it you're going to use a send to get onto this first one just like that and then you're going to use ultra hand to raise this thing even higher there we go it should have it should have even been fine there now you're going to go ascend onto the main platform over here this one over here, like the main one, and use Ultra Hand, grab the thing, the mirror, and then you're going to pull it towards you, or actually just put it in the light, actually, and light the, the thing behind you. So you're going to have the light facing you and a little bit higher to activate that little button to raise the door. Now you just jump down again and you activate the Riju with the lightning, wait for the yellow to cover the button, bing, and that is the third mechanism we're gonna do the fourth and final one now and all you have to do is run along this way just follow along with me there is a secret chest here so be careful have a send ready we're gonna be just before this line over here right in the spot you're gonna use a send and immediately go straight upwards because in a secret little room over here there's a chest so grab this chest once you got the chest we're gonna ascend yet again so go ahead go all the way to the top and you'll see this should put us at the part where we had all the light beams. Now we need to go to that side over there. So what you're gonna do is stand underneath the highest light beam on that side. So from here, you're just gonna swap platforms. You're gonna run to the underneath side of where that light is going at the top. And we're gonna stand on the edge right here facing this light here. So face on the edge, use the sand onto this platform. Now this isn't the first platform you need to go to. You need to ascend again. So you're gonna ascend twice, so once, and then here's the second time. Ascend all the way up here. And then step on the button. This will open up a room. This room is kind of simple. Super easy. If you've been to the Gorok Death Mountain place, you have the fire resistant armor. Here, you just go down without touching any of the flames. Nice and easy. Once you're down here, there will be a button to step on, activate, defeat the enemies. Once you've defeated the enemies, use Riju's lightning ability and activate the fourth and final mechanism. 
Cool. There we go. Nice and easy. From this point, I'm going to kind of give you a spoiler warning. If you don't want to see anything of the boss fight, leave this video now. If you are struggling with this boss fight, because it is the hardest one I've had to fight out of all four of them. This is the last one I did, and it's the hardest one. You might need some advice, and I'm going to give you that advice right now. So stick around for that in case you don't mind the spoiler. So the first thing you should know is that you need to use Riju's ability on this boss. It's the same one that you saw at the very beginning of the encounter. The boss also does like a laser beam thing, so you can either run to the side to dodge it or use one of these things in the way to just block it nice and easy. But when you do have the Riju's ability activated, you just have to shoot the boss with an arrow. After hitting it twice with this ability, it will fall down. So right now you just don't want to be in the front of it. If you're ever in the front of it, it's going to use that tornado attack when it raises up and hits the ground. You don't want to be near it either because it's very dangerous so you're going to die a lot. I messed up this fight so many times. Now when you hit it the second time with the lightning ability, it will actually be knocked down and this means you can go run up to its face and get a nice free damage session and hit it as much as you can until it stands back up again. As always, stay as far away from its face as possible. When it gets to 50% health, it will raise monsters from these different things here and you can use bomb flowers and attack the top. Now, these things will only be able to be destroyed when they're summoning enemies. That means when they have the black holes under the mushroom at the top, they'll be able to be destroyed. If they don't have those black holes and they close up, that means the, the thing can't be destroyed and you will have to use the light beams to drag the enemies into the light. Once they're into the light, they'll just like fall over and let you kill them nice and easily. And yeah, that's pretty much the fight. Just dodge the tornadoes, keep your distance unless you've knocked the boss on the ground like this after two lightning strikes and then just finish it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and thank you so much for watching.